I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how to do a knotless finish base size wrap belly wrap tutorial. So you're going to want something thin that's easy um, and moldable because there's multiple passes um, across your belly and your back and if your wrap is too thick it's going to get bulky really quickly. So. You're going to find your base size wrap and start at your middle marker and gather, well, you can place that right at the top of your belly and gather it all up to bring around. Then you're going to crisscross and back, like so. Find your top rails. Mine are right here. And take the time and spread the passes. Um, working on all the slack so that you get tension. Like that. Yeah, oh, baby. Hi, oh, baby. Mama loves you. make sure I don't take my shirt with it. Okay, so now that you've got your snugged up uh, crisscross in the back, you're going to pick one of your rails to work with and tuck the other one between your legs to hold tension. And this one we're going to go ahead and spread across the belly again. Hi, baby. And then you're going to pull this um, tail back out and twist them. So you've got a little twist there. Now tuck this one between your legs to hold tension and take this tail. We're going to go ahead and fold the two rails, the top and bottom rail together, like so and carry it back across our back so that it's nice and flat. Just like that. Now this one can get tucked between your legs while you work with this. And this pass is going to um, go back over your belly. So you can either take the entirety of the wrap and pull it over your belly, or you can fold it, um, just like we did that last, that last one, so that you can wrap just kind of the bottom half of your belly. There. So my two rails are together again. I'm going to go ahead and keep it folded because that provides some really nice lift support across the bottom when it's feeling heavy. So now I have that going across my belly. We're going to take the one out from between our legs again and crisscross those as well. So now this can get tucked. This can make one more pass across your back. I like to take it and actually, again, keep it the two rails together so you're working with your half wrap width. And I like to actually carry this one a little bit lower um, to support that lower back and hips. So I'm going to keep that down here, which will also help with our knotless finish at the end. So that's spread across my back. And now this is your end point. So you can either go ahead and tie it in a knot, if that's what you prefer, or um, if you're like me and you don't 
particularly like knots. I did name this the knotless finish. So I'm going to take my wrap and I'm going to go between the, my shirt and the bottom of my wrap job. I'm just kind of tuck it up, up there to hold. And you will be surprised how well this holds up with movement and busyness throughout the day. So that one's tucked and we're going to do the same thing with this one. So we'll take our tail and work out. There we go. Take our tail and go back under the wrap. I'm coming. Baby's getting fussy. And tuck it under your wrap. Okay, just a minute. Mama's almost done. So, now we've got multiple passes across the belly. You've got your two crisscrosses on either side that are kind of pretty and decorative. Mm, I don't know why there's slack there, but we'll have to work that out. And then the spread passes across your back for support. And that is how I use a base size wrap to wrap up my belly.